In this video, I'm going to show you a great way to beat some of the meta blitzes in Madden 23 with simple route combinations that just work against really any defense but are very effective when your opponent is sending a significant amount of pressure. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you a really good little Max Pro setup, and we're going to be going against the Spinner Dollar Meta, and what we're going to do is we're going to come out in the play PA Counter Go, but if you take a look at my audibles, we're going to have access to everything that we need here within these audibles. Um, I'm in the New England Patriots playbook. If you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. For just $10, it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We currently have, I think, 11 ebooks, and we have two that we're going to be releasing this week. So the basic setup for Dollar 3-2 is essentially this. They're going to take this guy and probably man him up on the running back, and then they're going to use her this guy over the middle of the field. So we have a five-man pressure. Um, it's probably the best five-man pressure uh, in the game. But we have a five-man pressure that could potentially come off of both sides. So what I like to do against something like this is, again, just simple routes. So, for example, this out route to the tight end is one of the best man-beating routes in the game. So if I couple that with, let's say, for example, a C route to Mike Evans and maybe a post route to this receiver, this is a great little route combination to beat man. So you see here, boom. I pick up the pressure and I'm able to throw my out route to the tight end. Now let's say you're watching this video and you don't have a slot apprentice, you don't have outside apprentice. P slot corner is a great play to freestyle out of because it gives you routes that most other plays don't. Okay, so again, um, we're just going to go ahead and throw some, some coverage here, but we've got the base concept for the pressure. And what we're going to do now is essentially the same thing. The only difference is now we have a corner, a scissors action on the left side. And then what I like to do is basically drag my tight end or leave him on the deep corner if you want. We're going to motion this outside receiver across the formation. We're going to snap the ball right about here. He's going to block. And then you're going to see here that we're going to give our corner route an opportunity to basically cook man-to-man -man coverage, potentially be a one-play touchdown. I want to stress real quickly, the thing with the man meta and the thing with the blitzy meta is two things. Number one, you've got to be a little bit more patient than I think you've been in years past. You can't just bomb every play this year because the blitz is that good. You have to respect the, flat, the fact that the blitz is significantly better this year than it's probably ever been um, in recent years at least. Okay, so having simple plays like this are really effective. Now, the other thing that you got to understand is you want to be using short in elite, or you want to be using some kind of an ability that can get these receivers help. The best, in my opinion, is short in elite or short out elite. Short in elite for receivers that are going to be cutting inside of the numbers. So, for example, in this play right here, we would want to have short in elite on our tight end, our middle trips receiver, and our inside trips receiver. That's going to help them beat man. It's also going to help them get off the press. Now, the outside receiver is typically going to be outside of the numbers. It doesn't matter whether we're short side or wide side. He's typically going to be outside the numbers. So we want to make sure that this guy has short out elite. That's going to be very helpful. Now, another ability that I want to just quickly point out that is really good is outside apprentice. The reason outside apprentice is so effective is because the corner route or the C route is probably the best man beating route in the game. So what you're going to see right here is we're going to do a simple route combination like this. We're going to have the C route to Evans. We're going to leverage um, the power of this route to Jones. And then we're going to essentially um, drag our tight end and motion block this receiver. So you see how we're using motion blocking to help pick up these edge blitzes. Um, that was actually terrible. I don't know what my running back is doing. Um, but we're using motion blocking to help pick up these edge blitzes, which is then going to buy us time to be able to throw the ball deeper down the field. Now, um, you don't always want to run with this right here. So, for example, if you're looking at this play art, I apologize, I messed this up. But if you're looking at this play art, who's open? How can I get players open quick? Well, another thing that you can do, and again, this is all just freestyling to, to a degree, but another thing you can do is simple wheel, um, you know, do something like this. This is a great play. It's probably one of my favorite plays right now. Because if they go cover the running back, then my tight end is going to be wide open over the middle of the field. Even the, and the blitz doesn't have time to be able to come in. Okay, so you can either max protect to pick up the pressure, 
I personally really like that a lot this year, especially if I'm going to try to throw routes that are deeper down the field. I'm going to probably max protect. Um, it's just going to be more helpful in my opinion. Um, but if not, then, you know, I want to be able to get the ball out of my hands quickly. A play like Pat's YN, for example, is another great example. So we can block our running back here. That's going to put the running back in a block. And then we can motion block this outside receiver. We could leave this route to Godwin, or we could put him on a slant route. So you see here, another max protect setup. We're able to pick up the pressure really well. And then we did get shedded, but you saw we had a post. If we have tight end apprentice, we can put a cross route there. So that's kind of honestly one of my favorite tips for, you know, beating man to man. The reality is if they're blitzing five at you, they're going to be a little bit limited in what they can do from a coverage perspective. Okay. So what you're going to probably see is something like this. If they, if you're blocking the running back a lot, they might put this guy on a flat to this outside. And then basically what you want to do again, is just have routes. So, um, let's go back to PA counter go for just a second. Another great play, uh, in my opinion, is to do something s simple, man. Like something like this. This is so simple. But just do like an in route. You could do, um, you know, like a little little drag, you know, because now we want to attack the right side because our drop in zones to the left. So we'll do something like this. We pick up the pressure, you know, and then there's the tight end out right on the right side. So simple, basic things like that are really helpful for beating the beating you know zones and stuff or beating man and stuff. The other the last thing I want to point out, I just want to come back to that C route real quickly here. So the last thing that I want to show you is this C route is really one of the better routes. So what you want to do is let's say you want to go and um, I mean it doesn't matter what play you run, but you know let's say we want to put a C route out here to the right. We've got this post and then we're going to bring this drag across the formation. And they're going to have to outside third on that right side. Otherwise, the C route is going to be open over the top. As you see right there, you want to highball that, pass lead that outside. So these are simple ways that you can beat some of the meta blitzes. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. $10 will get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. In addition to that, you'll also get access to all the updates to those ebooks as well. Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.